welcome to the wet tropic times online where your one-stop shop for all your local news events and community reminders this week we'll cross over to david gardner who is in beautiful Bubinda, speaking with cal williams but before we cross to david let's take a look at this week's local news ingham state's high sail of you ingham state high's new year 12 students pulled in a decent crowd to the tyto regional art gallery for the grand opening of their artwork display. See la vie. The students wanted to share their artwork and to thank their art teachers who made their last year in high school such a great year despite the challenges they had faced because of COVID-19. The year 12's artwork was inspired by their challenges in 2020 and will be on display for the next month. So make sure you rally around, rally out and come in youngsters, artists and pay the art gallery a visit in the next few years. It's well worth the visit. New Medical Equipment is headed for the hospital thanks to Innisfail Friends Foundation. It's been a challenging year for so many people, but the Innisfail Friends of the Hospital Foundation have pushed on and managed to reach their fundraising target. We would like to thank the Friends of the Hospital Foundation for all their hard work, as well as the incredible support received from the local community. They've been able to raise enough money to purchase four new pieces of medical equipment valued at approximately $40,000. The group have placed over $600,000 worth of equipment into the Innisfail Hospital, saving countless lives over the years and making Innisfail Hospital one of the best equipped regional hospitals. An amazing job all around. PCYC Innisfail launches Breaking the Cycle Driver Mentor Program. The PCYC Innisfail has launched its award-winning Breaking the Cycle Learner Driver Education and training program and is encouraging more motivated volunteers to driver mentors and participants to get involved. There are already four mentors and ten participants signed up who have started our manual or automatic lessons. The statewide program helps disadvantaged young people to reach the required 100 hours of supervised driving to gain their driver's license. This is something you might be interested in. So make sure you give Bonnie a call on 0428 737-071. You'll just need to have held an open license for a minimum of 12 months and be eligible to hold a working with children check blue card. Teddy Bear's picnic at Silkwood State School. Last term, Silkwood State School was overflowing with excited teddy bear owners, furry friends, colourful picnic blankets and plenty of stories. The kindergarten was buzzing with happy children who enjoyed teddy bear themed activities before enjoying a shared picnic morning tea with their teddy bears and parents out in perfect silkwood weather conditions. Marillion State School Preps Letter Land Parade Marillion State School Preps recently chose their favourite letter, dressed up in a character relating to that letter and then went parading in front of staff, family and friends. The entertaining morning even finished with the ever popular chicken dance. Oh, it was a great morning for everyone involved with just smiles all around. The great Marillion State School Soil Inter Prep Program is also running weekly and is designed for students who will be starting prep in 2021. It's run every Wednesday from 9 to 11 a.m. for eight weeks starting on October 7th and will continue every Wednesday until November 4th. Children enjoy activities aimed at developing prep readiness skills and familiarising them with routines and learning activities. St. Rita's Scullywag Celebrate Grandparents Day. St. Rita Scullywags Playgroup in South Johnson held their first ever Grandparents Day, which coincided with National Grandparents Day on the 25th of October. They welcomed grandparents to the centre for a special morning where they spent quality time with their loved ones and created priceless memories. It was a great opportunity to show appreciation for our grandparents' love and support. St. Rita Scullywags Playgroup are also holding their Christmas party on December 1st from 10 a.m. to 12 noon to include lots of Christmas activities and a special visit from Santa. Keep an eye on their Facebook page for more details. Silver Clay Target Club donates $500 to local cancer brand. The Silver Clay Target Club president, Duncan Sutherland, recently presented a cheque for $500 to Cancer Council Queensland and the South branch volunteers to assist in fundraising efforts to help find a cure for cancer. The funds donated were raised at the August Cancer Shoot event, which was well supported by 45 local members 
along with 10 members from the Atherton Clay Target Club. For the past five years, Silver Clay Target Club has supported Cancer Council Queensland and our volunteer branch with a yearly donation, which assists the vital cancer research for all types of cancer, including breast and prostate. A brilliant initiative and a show of support. In this old golfer, Stephen Todd lands his first hole in one. Congratulations to Stephen Todd for achieving his first hole in one during the inside skip Ben High Stablefoot last Saturday on hole two using Nadine and a TP5 number five ball. A special thanks to all the members and the volunteers who continuously put in the hard yards to maintain our course and clubhouse. The course is always well prepared and ready for a great weekend of golf. Local boxer Kevin Simpson returns to the ring with a win. Local boxer Kevin Simpson recently stepped back into the ring for his first bout in three years and returned home with a trophy from a boxing tournament in Gordonville. Early this month, Simpson was judged a bout winner in an agreed decision after three rounds of one and a half minutes against his opponent Terence Cookie from Hawks Boxing Townsville. For his age, he has solid foundation, basic skills, and as he has been sparring with adults, he is far more advanced than other boys of the same age. So congrats mate, we can't wait to see how far you can take it. Finals Queensland football local SAP players do their region proud. Aspiring young local soccer players have been involved in Finals Queensland football skill acquisition phase and technical sport programs, with two of the girls being part of the winning Finals Queensland under 11 and 12 team at the State Carnival in Brisbane. These programs are part of a Football Queensland initiative to deliver professional, integrated and elite development pathways and programs for players and coaches in Queensland. A massive congrats to players and coaches for doing the program and region proud. Also an extra special thanks to the parents who support the girls and travel down for the events. Cully host the Far North Free Fall K Boogie. Stunning scenery of the local region with breathtaking K reefs were showcased from the skies when Tully hosted Far North Free Fall K Boogie event from October 12th to 18th. With almost 100 skydivers taking the plane, it is one of the most popular events for skydivers from all around the country. A boogie is where skydivers get together for a week to play in the sky and coaches are organised so people can jump and progress. The event of organised this type of meeting is to do as many jumps as possible so they can practice new skills and lock them in for later. If you want to find out more, head over to the Parachute Council website or the Far North Freefall Facebook group. Now let's cross across to our on the ground reporter David Gardner. David is over in beautiful Babinda today having a chat with word artist and teacher at the Babinda Community Shed, Cal Williams. G'day David. Hi Shane and thanks for the update on this week's news. Well today we're with Kel Williams who's a woodworking teacher and a trainer here at the Community Shed in Babinda. Um, and first of all I guess I'll ask you to tell us a bit about yourself Kel and about what you actually do. Here at the shed. At the shed, yes, I'm um, more of a mentor, and um, pro professionally, I'm, I'm a visual artist, and done a lot of wood sculpture, woodwork, specialised in woodwork, and yeah, I've come here to the joined up. Oh, it'd have to be ten years ago when I first joined up, and on and off um, with work happening, um, going back, doing doing a bit more work, full-time work, and then when that slowed down, back doing um, the shed again, helping out at the shed, and I quite enjoy it, yes. What is it that you most enjoy about, um, I guess you're passing on skills that you've learned over a long time, and that would be part of it, I assume? Very true, yep. Um, over 35 years in the woodworking industry, and. And yeah, I just love it. Um, I'm a um, shipwright boat builder by trade, and yeah, done lots of um, wooden boats and fitted, made them, fitted them out, and thoroughly enjoyed being in the wood industry. Well, wow, that must be interesting, um, building boats. I mean, that's probably not a skill that you find too much of these days. So is that important? Do you think that you're able to pass on at least some of those skills? Yes, 
I did my trade in New Zealand back in the 70s and yes, it just, just from then on, um, did five years apprenticeship over there. Came back to Australia, um, went working in the uh, ship, shipyards um, around far north Queensland and then after the uh, working with the shipyards, um, 92, 93, when I decided to give up the boat building, start becoming an artist. That's terrific. Uh, and talking about art and being an artist, you you actually won award just recently at the uh, Babinda Art Show. Yes. Tell uh, us about that. I got first prize in sculpture and yeah, but the competition was down, or the entries were down this year because of COVID, but a uh, lot of beautiful art that was in there. And yeah, five years I've been entering into the um, Babinda um, RSL exhibition and yeah, had, haven't missed a year. And it must be inspiring for you to see that um, uh, your art is being recognised, your sculptures in this case, but you know, and it must be inspiring for other people, especially younger artists up and coming as well, that you know, might see you um, gaining this sort of award and, and that you're able to show some of these skills to people. Well, this is what I'm doing here at the moment. Um, once we start getting a few more members coming in and are interested in wanting to do sculpture or um, even painting, art, artwork, brushwork, yeah, I'm there to uh, mentor, or mentor them along and just show them the ropes. And you've been working on um, this sign that's right in front of us, so just tell us a little bit about this. This sign is for the Babenda Task Force and it'll be hanging above um, the doorway at, at the task force. Um, it's the original sign, cleaned up, undercoated. What I'm doing is route, routing in all the lettering, Babenda Task Force, and then either have a white background and black lettering. And it'll have a, a nice routed border around. And yes, whichever way you're looking at it, it'll be there. It, you can see it. It'll stand it'll out. It'll all be legible, yes. Yeah, that's great. And, and what are some of the other things you've been doing here at the shed? I believe you, uh, being a boat builder, you've made a, a scale model of a boat, which is um, quite significant here. I have. I'd, I haven't made it here. I've made it in my workshop. Uh, that got entered into one of the uh, Babenda RSL exhibitions. Uh, took out a first prize on that. I can't remember what year that was. But uh, yes. But here, it's mainly, uh, they're doing a lot of uh, recycled pallet wood furniture. So later on, we'll be, I'll be designing um, some seats, tables, That's that we can either for raffling, but still a lot of the other um, stuff will be going into, into the markets. We have one chap that does the markets and he takes whatever little uh, outdoor furniture that we make here and he sells it at the various markets and th it sells very well. So getting plenty of practical use out of the things that have been made here too. Yes. And, and pallet wood furniture has, is something that's really sort of growing in popularity and it also right. seems to be, you know, quite, uh, you, can, you can get quite a bit of it uh, and the resources don't seem to run out, do they? No. Pallets are everywhere and we're putting it to fantastic use and making beautiful furniture and no, I love it, yes. Well, thank you for your time today, Kel, and, and for doing this uh, for us and mm. sharing your insights. Um, and um, we hope it goes very well here at the shed, and I'm sure it will. It will, yes. And back to you, Shane. Cheers, David and Kel. Another great insight to the life of one of our great locals. Hope you've all, all, all enjoyed this week's overview of local news. Make sure you grab yourself a copy of the Wet Tropic Times today for the full stories and so much more. Cheers to all our loyal watchers each week. We love that we do because of you guys. 
Have a great weekend and we'll catch you back here again at the same time again next week.